I uh, sort of broke my neck, so... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Minor. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's the only... Touch wood, that's the only thing I've ever done. Like, I've made me retire for and then I've come back. But, uh, yeah, I had a disc replacement. So, um, you know, I was playing. Uh, sort of someone judo threw me in a tackle and I hit my forehead on the floor and it popped my disc out. So, um, that's, that's the worst one I've had. Um... For me, it was a double dislocation fracture of my left ankle, so my foot came out of the socket, twisted around twice, and basically fell out. So I, when I lifted my foot up, it was dangling on the floor, so it wasn't particularly pleasant. It's quite good really, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Play rugby, it's brilliant. <laughs> Join in, kids. <laughs> I had to put my wedding off for four years um, because basically there's, there's a window of opportunity to get your mates uh, to your wedding and that's like two weeks in July and uh, you know, three, three sets of mates were getting married in consecutive years so I had to wait until the fourth year. That's why he told his missus, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Just so <sad. laughs> Yeah, I didn't, I didn't really have any. Um, so I grew up not really knowing what rugby was. I was born and raised in Kenya and Spain, so I didn't know who anyone was. Um, I didn't even know the rules for the first year that I played. Um, so, I mean, I had a sporting hero, and that was uh, Daley Thompson, just because you know, he was an awesome athlete, but um, just did everything with a smile on his face. Loved every minute of what he was doing. So. World Cup final. Um, I was obviously uh, in 2003. I, I didn't play, but we obviously all came. All the, the squad uh, ran on the pitch afterwards, and um, we were having photos celebrating. And then, as we walked around the pitch, sort of with the cup, the cup held aloft, um, Mark Regan whipped my trousers down, <laughs> whipped my tracksuit bottoms down. So it was quite embarrassing in front of billions of people. Um. I've actually wet myself on the pitch before. <laughs> it was alright, it, it was freezing cold and that, and I was straining in a scrum and uh, yeah, the dribble came, you know, a bit more than a dribble. So uh, it's quite a warming moment as it was cold. <laughs> oh, I'd have to say um, we went to collect our, well no, after the, after the World Cup final in 2003 we came back and uh, I had a bus trip, you know, through the centre of London, millions of people watching, and we had a various, various different stop-offs. Uh, we stopped at the um, 10 Downing Street, and then obviously the Palace, and met the Queen, and uh, a few boys a bit nervous about that. And, um, anyway, we got through it, and I was in the sort of main reception um, hall afterwards, where they were sort of serving tea and sandwiches and whatnot, and I was standing with Mark Regan, and one of the sort of footmen came up and uh, sort of nodded his head and said, uh, Earl Grey. And Mark Regan said, Mark Regan, pleased to meet you. Um, <laughs> but any, any moment with Mark Regan's uh, a funny one, whether, you think, whether, whether he's trying to be funny or not. 